Greetings, Internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the Internet Lifestyle Show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real-life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet Brand, Magic Brad, Synergy Cafe, and Synergy Collaborative, and I've got a new guest online, finally after some of the technical difficulties, but we su- we succeeded, and his name is Mike, correct? Yes, Mike Vini is my name. Mike or Michael? Well, Michael's on my birth certificate. So it depends on if you're wearing a tie, right? It depends on all, if I'm wearing <laughs> a tie and if my father is talking to me. And I'm oh, my God. <laughs> 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 That's still big. I got it. So I do this kind of quick. That's to get that no like and trust thing out of the way and find out more about who you are. You got kids? You married? Where do you live? What's going on? Uh, well, I, I live in New York City Whoa. and I love New York City and I actually travel the world as a mental health speaker and a drummer. So when people ask me what I do, I get to tell them that I talk about my issues and I hit stuff. <laughs> yeah, beat it out of you. I beat it out of you. <laughs> That's so you're talking about like uh, the djembe drums or snare? Or? Well, actually, I'm a drum set player, so I have background training and snare drum and all that. And for many years, I was a professional drummer, but now most of my drumming is corporate drumming, where I work with adults in the workplace and teach them how to be kindergartners all over again. I love with it. Djembe drums and other percussion instruments. It's fun. I spent a lot of time in the corporate world doing magic. So I love to see new stuff that comes in there instead of the stale, dry, keynote speaker, take notes kind of stuff. I love see, seeing new stuff, team building things and things like that. Yeah. So what is it you do then? I mean, aside from the, is that what you do is you teach, is it a team building thing for corporations and bringing Yeah, it's, it's a team building thing. And like I said, you know, if I'm not doing that, actually most of my time lately seems to be speaking about mental health at conferences, schools and events around the country. I've actually been on the road for about three months nonstop traveling and, you know, finally happy to be home and have laundry done the right way and all that stuff. <laughs> and, um, you know, so I do both. So sometimes I'm doing the team building with the drumming and other days I'm speaking about medical health. But you know what? They all revolve around one thing, Brad, and that is empowering people to connect. That's my mission. Did you say um, medical health or mental health? Mental. Got it. So th- this is a little sidebar from it, and I don't want to get too much into it, but someday sure. later we could talk more about it. But isn't that something that kind of sneaks up on a person? You can't, you, you can't even realize it, and all of a sudden you think you're going crazy. Because I've had some situations where I thought I was, I don't know if it's disrespectful saying going crazy, but yeah. when different things start happening to you and you wonder, God, am I stable? Do I need some help or what? Well, you, thank you for saying that, by the way. You're right. Sometimes mental health issues sneak up on all of us. And the other thing is that they're confusing. You know, it's not like hurting your wrist. You hurt your wrist, you go to the doctor or you ice it or wait it out to see, you know, if you need further help. But when it comes to uh, anxiety or depression, a lot of times it takes a lot of time to realize that, hey, maybe I have some symptoms of something else that's going on here. So one of the things that I encourage people to do is to develop more awareness around their daily mental health just so they can address any symptoms that might come up. So I think that's really important. Well, even that uh, the, the depression part of it, people say, maybe you're depressed because, I mean, I'm pretty happy, upbeat kind of guy, but some people say stuff like you're, you're hiding behind your humor and things. And sometimes when it's gray like today outside, you get that seasonal effectiveness disorder and you wonder, is it the weather or am I depressed? And am I going to go off and, you know, off myself somewhere because I'm depressed or... It, it does sneak up on you, and you don't you don't see those signs, and you have to I think uh, really be in tune to know when someone if someone's joking about it, are they joking or are they serious? Absolutely, and that goes with the whole mission of empowering people to connect. A lot of times, when it comes to mental health issues, we are feeling disconnected inside, whether that's mm-hmm. sad, anxious, or whatever. But also, when I do the team building, it's empowering people to connect because, as you know, in corporate America, that can be a difficult thing in the workplace, right. getting to connect with your team. So that's basically what I do, and I really love my work, love my work. That's very cool. I mean, when I do, I do a lot of these interviews, and I've got like five pillars to the whole Synergy Cafe thing of career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. So I get a lot of different people, and it's always fun 
hearing these different things and then having different lights go on in my head. And the idea of, because you think when you're in a corporate environment, you connect with your colleagues, but not really. There's probably some hidden stuff like, you know, I really don't like her, but I'm not going to say that because I have to work with her. Right. Exactly. And maybe they should talk about that stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Even on a little league baseball team, Brad, I mean, drama happens and kids have to learn to work together with each other. So I think this is something. The parents. That, the parents. <laughs> oh, They're the oh, worst. You should have a whole episode about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's really important just to do. And it's something that I've had to learn how to do. I'm still learning how to get better at. And I screw it up all the time, people. But I'm trying to always be intentional about getting better at that. Well, humans are complicated beings. There's a lot going on, and we're always evolving and changing. And it's kind of interesting. Why, why is it that people end up having arguments or this whole thing with the Hillary Trump thing that happened that separated us all? And why is that? What is that? What is, that's kind of strange when you think about it. But if you take it and narrow it back, the reason there's borders between countries is I wouldn't want people walking in my house or jumping in my car. That, that's my domain. I mean, if they ask politely, uh, come on in. Okay. <laughs> I'll be sure to ask when I show up at your house. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. But you're right. No, humans are, are, are very interesting, and especially with the past, all this election stuff that nobody wants to talk about, yet there's this tension, this hidden tension that's, that's amongst a lot of groups of people. And I, I speak at a lot of colleges, and it's something I've seen on college campuses right now, a lot of tension right now. Sure. So... As far as your work, where do you do your work? Do you work locally, or do you kind of fly wherever they want to have you, or do you do web-based stuff? How do you? Where do you do your work? I do any work that the plane takes me to. So typically, okay. it's work around the country. Uh, excited, actually, this month I'm going to California. I love California. I'm going to be speaking in a high school a few days before Christmas to help the students with de-stressing because holidays can be very stressful for sure. everyone. And so pretty excited about that. And so, yes, I pretty much travel around the country. I also do some work in Haiti a lot. So um, I got to go to Haiti twice in the past few weeks, one to teach at an entrepreneurship camp and the other to be the MC at the entrepreneurship camp graduation. So that was pretty exciting. That's got to be cool for the kids and stuff with you being a yeah. drummer and everything. It, it, it is. And actually, <laughs> and I should say this, it was a camp, but it was actually adults who were entrepreneurs. Um, and we had it on, on a college campus, which was pretty amazing. And, um, you know, it just takes you out of your element. It takes you into someone else's world. I think that's, that's really important. I'd like to throw a little thing out. It's not really a plug or anything, but I like to put things out into the universe because you never know what's going to happen. But um, I have an interest in doing these retreat type things, not typically your yoga type retreat or whatever, but some kind of unique, like a team building retreat or maybe a corporate retreat or maybe it's a, a spousal retreat, how to, how to, how, do you, how does a family not be stressed out? And maybe that might be something you're interested in and participating in. I'm, Absolutely. I, my, I'm interested in doing them in, in some place with palm trees and warm, like Costa Rica or Tulum, Mexico or Bali, Indonesia. So, I, You keep me in mind for that. I've actually done several <laughs> retreats, and retreats are just great for people. Yeah. Just the idea of getting away into a structured, relaxing environment is really important. Right. Exactly. Well, let's uh, get into uh, how we get a hold of you. Then I want to ask my favorite question, and then we'll sign it off. So okay. how do you get a hold of you? Website and all that kind of stuff? My website. I'll give you my mental health site because that's the most popular one these days. Transformingstigma.com. Again, that's transformingstigma.com. There's lots of videos, information, a blog on there, and resources if you might be struggling with mental health challenges. Transforming Stigma with Mike Feeney. Got it. Well, here's my favorite question, and that is the big why question. Why is it you're doing this, and why didn't you join a band and be a drummer, and why aren't you like a ski instructor or a volleyball coach, or why are you doing this? One of the things that I've had to learn uh, over and over again is that we all have talents and gifts, and sometimes we can work with those gifts and, and do something with them, and sometimes we choose not to. A lot of people choose not to. And I heard from a wise man one day that he said that when you have talents and gifts, it's important to be a servant to those talents and gifts. And I realized for me, I had a gift for speaking. I have a gift for drumming. And believe it or not, my mental health issues might be a hidden gift. And so I put that all together and said, this is what we're going to do. Didn't know what it was. Still don't know what it is half the time that I do. But 
the idea is that I'm always thinking about how can I serve. And one, one thing I would suggest to your listeners out there, um, asking yourself each day, how can I help? How can I serve? I've been doing this since I was 18 years old. And I used to wish for like a billboard to appear or an email or a text with an answer. And nothing has ever appeared. But the process of asking those questions each day has put me into this wonderful mindset to find opportunities for myself and constantly grow my career and my happiness. Totally. If you ask the right questions, you get the right answers. There you go. So I'm going to sign this one off, and if you want to stick on for a little while, we'll chit-chat a little bit. But uh, what's going to happen is this gets recorded, and I take it into iMovie and put an intro and outro on it, put it up to YouTube, and then propagate it out to the blog blogosphere. So appreciate you taking the time, Mike, and uh, people are listening. Be well. And uh, one more time, the website to get to? www.transformingstigma.com. Got it. Okay, thank you. Thank you.